the retrial of Louis Riel, I took on the role of a prosecution witness named George Ness, a neighbor and a churchmate of Louis Riel. The role wasn't particularly hard to fulfill, as the testimony of George Ness was straightforward, and his logic could be easily understood. When researching, I first read over the recording of George Ness' testimony multiple times to make sure I understood his character. Then I researched online for the crimes Riel was tried for back in 1885, as well as his reading over our prosecution group's opening and closing statements to understand our main argument. Afterwards, I reread the testimony yet again and categorized questions and answers by their, se by their selling point such as disrespectful towards the Pope and the Church, signifies betrayal by people they knew well, and merciless, killing people just because they are unwilling to fight on the same side. Because including all three points would make the script too long, I had to decide on t at most two points that would best support the prosecution argument, which ended up being, being disrespectful towards the Pope and Church and betraying people they once knew by taking them hostage and threatening to kill them. However, the script could have been condensed more effectively, as some parts may have been repetitive and confusing to others who does not have the script in hand. On top of that, the point of betraying people isn't very effective, as it does not directly contradict with the law. It only serves to prove that he is not very ethical of a person, from one perspective, at least. The other reason I chose betrayal over threats at that time is because part of the script for it also further introduces the character to the audience. I will say that the verdict of the retrial of Louis Riel is fair because the defense lacked accurate and in-depth information. The definition of mag megalomania should have been made clear during the defense opening statement, as for the rest of us who, do had, who did not do research on that mental disorder, we did not know what it m meant until the closing statement, which is much too late for counter-arguments. Not to mention, the questioning time should be focused on proving that he has symptoms of megalomania, but instead most witnesses were only judging his behavior with unprofessional knowledge, and the mere impression of being crazy. I doubt their characters have any understanding of the medical term megalomania. Our argument might not have been the best it could have been and contradicted itself in some areas, however, we still provided more information and evidence than the defense side. Additionally, if it was, at, as the judge Keelan stated in the imposition of sentence, that megalomania is simply a historic term used for what we recognize as narcissistic personality disorder nowadays, then their whole argument is contradictory. As one of the main signs of someone with a narcissistic personality disorder is a lack of empathy. However, the whole reason Louis Riel started the uprising is due to empathy for the Metis and the First Nations. I believe that Louis Riel may not be a hero in terms of achievements because he did not bring any immediate change he wanted to see during his lifetime. The uprising that aimed to give the Methodist and First Nations rights failed in the end. However, he definitely symbolizes the image of a hero, as his actions and words and even his death gave the Methodist people and the Aboriginals renewed hope. Which is what a hero does, isn't it? Giving people hope. And that hope transforms into inspiration and aspiration for new leaders, such as Honorable Messiah, with the renewed hopeful atmosphere and a good leader, people began to become courageous, expressing their feelings and thoughts more openly. When everyone puts a little bit of effort into changing something, it is often much more successful than when only a handful stand up for themselves. Louis Riel is the first one to take the lead and did his best try to guide the Metis people to their right to freedom. Without Louis Riel taking the courage courageous first step, the Metis people might still be living without rights.